I wanted to share a short video wrapping up the six week landscape painting challenge. Let's revisit some of the areas I focused on and see how I did. Was it worth the time and effort? If you haven't already watched the series of six videos on this challenge, I'll link it in the description. I began this project with the understanding that a month and a half wasn't nearly long enough to transform me from the beginner slash intermediate to a full-blown master or a pro by any stretch of the imagination. However, I did have certain hopes and expectations. In each and every watercolor landscape painting, I wanted to be able to put down the brush and remove the tape and feel proud of at least one thing that I had accomplished. I wanted to be able to say to myself, well, I know I could have done a better job varying my values, for example, but I do love how this tree turned out. And I think by breaking down my landscape paintings into individual elements, I was forcing myself to improve piece by piece. I hope you can see some improvements in my art as we move along week by week. Now, let's talk about the challenges I ran into. Well, first off, it wasn't easy to find time almost every day to work on these individual landscape elements, but I knew that I didn't want to move on to something else until I had taken the time to learn and experiment. But the bigger hurdle was truly self-evaluating what was working and what wasn't. Sometimes we can get stuck doing things in a certain way, but it isn't always benefiting us in the long haul. I'll get into more detail about this as we look at my landscapes from before the challenge. Okay, so here are some before pictures. Sure, they are technically landscapes, but there's nothing unique or exciting about them. Taking a step back and looking at the bigger picture, I discovered that I often wasn't considering my focal points and where I wanted the viewer's eyes to land first. And in the paintings that did have clear focal points, I didn't have the skills yet to turn those areas into anything special. Now, let's look at three landscapes that I painted this week. So I feel like I'm getting much better at determining what I want to focus on for each painting. It's not like every piece we paint needs to have spectacular mountains, detailed trees, crashing waves, and pillowy clouds, but rather I'm putting extra care into the areas I do want to highlight. At the beginning of the challenge, I had hoped to dive into color, value, and composition, but I found that I barely had time to scratch the surface. I did learn enough to realize the absolute importance of these three concepts and how much my art will benefit when I do have the time to dive in and learn more. As I hold up each of these paintings, consider how much my landscapes could improve by simply adjusting the layout, tweaking the colors slightly, or considering more contrast in my values. So in conclusion, I feel the six week watercolor painting challenge was 100% worth the time and effort. I can see how I benefited from this, but I also need to be patient with myself and continue to learn and enjoy what I'm doing along the way. You'll definitely be seeing future videos on color value and composition as I learn how to properly work these into my paintings. Please consider subscribing if you're interested in learning and growing your watercolor skills along with me. Thank you so much for watching.